In this HVACR training video, we're going over the different types of gas valves found in gas furnaces. So these gas valves have changed over time due to safety and electrical efficiency. Here we have an example of a 750 millivolt gas valve with a 750 millivolt thermal pile. And so if you manually light this by pressing this button down and putting a flame right here, what's gonna happen is that flame's gonna envelop the thermal pile. And when this is heated, it's gonna apply low voltage power over to the gas valve that's gonna keep this pilot solenoid open and so you'll have this standing pilot remaining lit. Then you can take the power from the thermal pile right here and apply it to the terminals back here and that's gonna open up the main stage to allow the gas to flow through to the main burners on a call for heat. Now there's no AC power applied to this gas valve as well and this is found on older gas furnaces and some ventless gas fireplaces and things like that. Here we have an example of a combination gas valve with a standing pilot right here that has to be manually lit by pressing this button down and having a flame right here. And so that flame is going to then end up enveloping this 30 millivolt thermocouple. And when this thermocouple is heated up, it's gonna create low voltage power applied to the bottom of the gas valve. And that's gonna keep this pilot uh, gas flowing through. And so you're always gonna have that standing flame right here. Then on a call for heat, you would supply 24 volts over here to the TH and the TR to allow the main stage to open up and allow the, the main gas to flow through to the main burners. And so this was used on older gas furnaces and then manufacturers moved on to the intermittent pilot ignition gas valve. This is an intermittent pilot ignition gas valve. And so for there to be a pilot flame, you have to have 24 volt power on the PV and the MVPV. So that will be the common tap. And that will allow the pilot to have gas. And then it has to have a control to ignite. And so in this case, this is a sparker and, and the control also has to verify that there's a flame. After that, the control is gonna end up powering the MV and the MVPV to allow the gas to flow through the main burner tube. Here's another example of an intermittent pilot gas valve. And in this case, it's gonna have to power P and common to allow the pilot to light. Then after the pilot flame is verified, it's then gonna have a control that's gonna power the M, which is the main in common, to allow the full gas flow to go through to the main burners. Here's another example of an intermittent pilot ignition gas valve, and this is referred to as a smart valve. And so underneath of this shell, there's a circuit board. And so when 24 volt power is applied right here on the control and also 24 volt power is applied after, it's gone through the safeties, gone through the pressure switch, what's gonna happen is the circuit board here is gonna power the 24 volt hot surface igniter over here. Then it's going to allow gas to flow through the pilot tube. It's going to ignite. The circuit board is going to verify that there's a flame using this flame rod. And then after that, it's going to power the solenoid to allow the main burners to light. Here's another example of a Honeywell smart valve. And in this case, this requires 120 volts down here on this plug, as well as 24 volts over on this plug. And so it's going to check for the safeties such as the um, high temperature limit, flame rollout switch, the uh, pressure switch, just to make sure that all those are then closed. And what's gonna happen is then it's going to apply 24 volts to the hot surface igniter, and it's going to verify that there is a flame there because it's also gonna allow gas to flow through the pilot tube. And then after that, it's gonna prove the flame with the flame rod. And so once that occurs, it's gonna then open up the main gas valve and allow the main burners to light. So this circuit board is powering the inducer motor as well in this case. Here's an example of a common gas valve type, and this is just a single stage direct ignition gas valve, and this is commonly found on furnaces nowadays, such as 80%, 90%, 95% efficient gas furnaces. And they work simply by applying 24 volt power right here, and it's going to allow the, the main gas to be able to flow through to the main burners. Of course, it's going to be regulated down to whatever pressure this gas valve is set for. In this case, it's set for LP, which is propane, but they typically come as natural gas. And there's also this little safety switch here. Uh, single stage direct ignition gas valves comes in all types of styles and types, uh, but this is a very common one. Here's an example of a two stage gas valve. And so there's two brass caps. You see there's a, a low fire and a high fire. And so you can see when common and medium are applied with 24 volts, you're gonna be allowing the low gas stage to, to flow through. When you apply both the uh, low stage, which will be the medium, and also 24 volt power on the high in common, then that's when you're gonna have the higher gas stage uh, flowing through. 
And so there's different types of these, but this is a pretty common type. Here's another version. And so this is a two-stage gas valve right here. And so when you're trying to apply uh, power to only allow the medium stage, which would be the low stage to fire, you're gonna apply power 24 volts onto common and medium. And then when you want to allow the higher stage to flow through, you're gonna be powering both the common and medium and the common and high in order to get both of these to be open to allow the full gas flow to flow through. For three-stage gas furnaces, what they do is they add this extra solenoid onto a two-stage gas valve. And so this one right here would have 24 volt power and here is the, the tap right here in order to check the pressure. And so you'd have three stages because there would be uh, your low stage, your medium stage, and your high stage. Now after manufacturers got to the point where they were doing two-stage gas valves, three-stage gas valves, they moved on to increase efficiency to modulating gas valves where you have a communicating circuit board on the gas valve and it communicates with the furnace circuit board and also a communicating inducer motor as well. And so if you wanna learn about any of these gas valves and their operation or troubleshooting, make sure to check out some of the other videos I have linked down in the description section below. And if you want to learn more about HVAC, make sure to check out our website over at acservicetech.com. There's a bunch of quizzes, calculators, articles, quick tips, and much more. Also, make sure to check out our Refrigerant Charging and Service Procedures for Air Conditioning book, our 1,000-question workbook, quick reference cards, and also our mini split book. And so these resources are available at our website at acservicetech.com and also on Amazon. Hope you enjoyed yourself. We'll see you next time at AC Service Tech channel.